hi guys I'm driving to the store and that clip before was from me uh, preparing for the day I was brushing my teeth and I was listening to my favorite song right now called um, what I did for love from let me roll up the windows it's probably highly disturbing um, what I did for love from the chorus line a chorus line the Broadway play not the one from the movie a chorus line because it sucks so don't listen to that version it's like watered down and demure and uh, it's just anticlimactic is that the right word is that how you pronounce anticlimactic dick no it's anticlimactic okay uh, I am starting a daily vlog here on this channel the daily tart why am I doing that because I love daily vlogs and I always felt like I was cheating by not broadcasting my own life and looking at so many other people's lives so in depth and I didn't think I had anything to vlog about because I don't have kids I don't have a mate you know that makes daily vlogs more exciting when you have someone to vlog with or like children and I do have a dog named Buster but moreover I thought it would be cool to look back on this part of my life because I am starting a new like project um, as you all know I have a channel called the sweetest vegan here on YouTube and I am vegan and I make vegan things but my new project is on another channel called heart of tarts and I'm gonna try to make a tart every day hence it used to be on this channel um, the daily tart but now I'm gonna make daily vlogs on this channel and I've been decided not to call it the daily tart I don't know why but I moved everything over I don't remember why so uh, it's on a channel called heart of tarts heart of tarts and I make tarts there and I think they're extra adorable and extra cute and I really want people to eat more whole fruit and so maybe they'll eat the decorated tarts instead of like cupcakes and cakes and things but that's like my underlying agenda what do you call it like under the table agenda back door whatever um so right now I'm going to the store I'm going to Barnes and Noble because I really want a new notebook you know whenever I get a new idea um, some people have to like write a business plan other people have to like I don't know but I always have to buy a new notebook so since I'm starting this project and I'm starting a daily vlog so I want to buy a new notebook so that's what I'm going to do right now and so other reasons why I wanted to start a daily vlog channel because I could possibly be going back to school soon so I'm applying to school and that's a process and I was like I could vlog that plus that's something I would want to look back on and I don't think anybody else is doing it so that's that'll be cool and also I decided to reform my style and I'm gonna dress really stylish well it's not gonna be trendy so I shouldn't even say stylish but I need a point of view and I have one I just don't have the money to make it happen just yet but it's full of dresses and uh, it's just gonna be so cute and I can't wait and I want to be able to do OOTDs and like show off what I'm wearing and tell people about it so yeah that's what I'm doing and I don't want a beauty or fashion channel I'm not into that I don't even really like it that much I like it for myself but like you'll see when you see how I want to dress when I get the money like I don't care what anybody else is wearing so I wouldn't be a good beauty vlogger because I don't think a fashion blogger because I don't think anybody else would want to dress like me um and even so I can do like those types of videos on this channel um, and I don't care about any what anybody else is wearing. Hold on, it's the police. I don't care about what anybody else is wearing. So, um, I'll just, um, I wouldn't be good at it. I wouldn't, like, collaborate and stuff, I guess. I don't know what I would do. But I just don't think it's for me. I really love food. And you have to do what you're passionate about. That's really the only way to make it in life and on YouTube in love and stuff so that's what I'm doing and that's why I'm starting this new channel I'll show you the notebook that I like to get well one of the types of notebooks that I like to get from Barnes & Noble when I um, get it and that's, that'll be it and I also have to get what I need to make today's tart so that's the thing I'm going to Kroger too you all have Kroger I love Kroger they don't have it out west or up north I don't think but we have it in the south and in the Midwest so if you care <laughs> okay so 
Uh, oh, another reason I wanted to start vlogging is because I actually got contacts and I won't be wearing my glasses. Come soon. I'll have my contacts back. That's the stupid reason though. Um, so I just left Kroger and I was so happy when I left Kroger for the dumbest reason. I got blackberries and I got strawberries. That's all I bought. Because I'm going to use bananas and oatmeal and stuff in the tart. But I already have that stuff at home. And um, so I went to go look at the strawberries. I intended to buy strawberries. Intended to buy strawberries. But when I went over there, they were all like moldy. And I don't have good strawberry luck. So after I saw like three packages with a little bit of mold growing on them, I was like, uh, you know it'll take i'll buy the one with like all the mold like i'm just not good with strawberries so i just decided today wasn't the day for strawberries and i went and looked at the nectarines and the nectarines were like i just didn't want to use them because they weren't ripe yet and i have to use them today and you know the thing at the grocery store you buy something and it has to sit well, what if you want to eat it today it's not ripe yet so then i saw this man stocking strawberries and i went over there when I didn't see him stalking the strawberries, I saw him looking at them, like a person who worked at the store. And then I got up close and I saw that he had like a bunch of strawberries on this cart. And they were all like straight out of the back, brand new strawberries, like a new shipment. And he was turned around and I like stole one while he wasn't looking. And I don't know why that made me so happy. I guess I felt like I stole his strawberries while he wasn't looking. But I went to the counter and paid for them, so it was absolutely ridiculous. But I just felt like I was getting away with something and I had like conquered like my mission like in life if my life's mission was to go to Kroger and buy strawberries today I did it and I did it well and I got the strawberries and they're brand new and I like stole them I don't know why that made me so happy but I was like smiling I know people were like what the hell is wrong with her but yeah maybe I left my camera in the car but maybe one day I'll get confident enough to vlog in public and I'll be able to vlog those types of things for you guys but for now Heck you know. <laughs> okay, so this is a part of my life. I thought I would vlog this. I have this creepy like habit slash like I love to do it type things where I like spy on real estate that I would like to like have like this. Like look at that. It's I mean it's just an apartment, but right now I live with my parents, so it's like um like look at those little like I could just see myself having like a little sliver of like that like hello hi like I don't know why like um in Atlanta my neighborhood a lot of neighborhoods we have like like this is the other side of the street it's just like they've redone a lot of these houses too but like that one that one's pretty old but it, you just go into like these back streets and you have like old houses maybe some are a little dilapidated but then you have like a new uh what do you call them development like right there and it's like i could just i'm driving home from the store but it's like i love real estate and i love like imagining myself having like a house one day or maybe a condo i like to imagine myself having a house but i'll probably end up in an apartment or a townhouse or a condo but those are townhouses um one day and those are for rent too those aren't for sale those are just for rent and I'll probably end up in something like that before I get a house. But I just like to creep on, like, real estate. Like, people probably live in those. And I drive by them. And I just film them for you all. And I don't know. I love to do that. Is that creepy? Yes, it is. You don't even have to answer. So now I'm back at home. And I there's a problem on the baking front. Here's my dog. Come here, Buster. Show them yourself. Hi. Say hi. Buster, say hi. You're gonna sneeze. Okay, speak. He thinks there's a treat involved. He's so hungry. Well, he's not hungry. He ate this morning. In general, he's a hungry dog and he's hairy and he's scratching now. Buster, speak. <coughs> Sit down though. Sit. Speak. Good boy. There's no treat for you. That's Buster the dog. His name is Buster Baxter. Right? That's your name? Buster? Baxter? You want to go out? <laughs> you don't have to go out. Anyway, the oven doesn't work. Our oven went out last night. We think it's a problem with the thermometer, but the broiler works. So I'm going to try to bake. Look at him on the bed. 
Are you supposed to be up there? It's covered just for him, so he actually can be up there. He probably wants to look out the window. Anyway, so I'm going to try to bake with the broiler. This is probably going to be a disaster, and right now I'm trying to broil strawberries, something I just came up with to thicken my filling. Who knows how this recipe will go today, but I told you all I would show you all the journal that I wanted. This is the journal that I bought today. It's Barnes & Noble. It's their brand, Essential Journal by Punctuate. It's a Barnes & Noble brand. It costs $8.95. It doesn't focus? No? No focus. And it's just journal. It's a little more... I like it because it has a lot of pages. It has a sense of permanence because it's all bound together. And if I mess up, that's like my butt. And... I'm going to write stuff here, and then it just starts. It's nice and clean, nice bright white pages with dark black lines. It has a, a piece of ribbon here, and to show you how much I love this journal, those are journals that I had like it from before, and they have other projects in them, and that's a journal kind of like it. I really like it because it has a quote on the front, and all of my journals, most Oh yeah, except for my school notebooks, which I throw away. I don't keep my schoolwork. Do y'all keep your schoolwork? I throw them away because it's like, that's so far. <laughs> um, they have like, I'll show you this project. Because this looks, this journal. This is the Sweetest Vegan, the Southern Queen of Vegan Cuisine project. It's a hated project now because it was based on Paula Deen's Southern Cooking Bible and people were like, I thought this was a Paula Deen parody. This was way before she came out as like saying bad things and uh, and people think she got in trouble like the lawsuit was over her saying the n-word. It was for her discriminating and putting lighter skinned people up front and darker skinned people in the kitchen in her restaurant. That's what the lawsuit was over. But it was before that and um, people hate that project now and everything that has to do with this. So I was like okay all the more reason to stop putting videos on that channel. But I just had like what it was up front, my little bio, my why, how, and what, my plan, my accomplishments, the pitch. What was this pitch for? I don't know what the pitch was for. I guess it was to myself. And then I had my recipes and head notes. And this camera is about to die, so I'll be done filming for today in just a second. But more importantly, in the back, I had my uh, productivity chains you call them it's just a way to keep track of what you have to do and like day by day to make sure you stay on track so that's what I really use them for I see it continues and I stopped the project right here after day 42 I made crab cakes yep and I was supposed to make pork ribs the next day but that's the thing I got tired of veganizing meat like I don't give a crap I don't care I don't care if what you eat instead of ribs like I don't care I'm just not into that so that's kind of why I stopped posting to the vegan channel as well as like the vegan hate and the hate that vegans had for me <laughs> so I was like uh I'm done with this I'm still vegan I just don't want to post videos about it checking the battery um so i guess that's it for today that's this notebook and hopefully you all like this show hopefully bye